Hola chicos, bienvenidos de vuelta al canal. Estamos de regreso con el proyecto de revestimiento de madera y si han estado siguiendo la serie, saben que ya ensamblamos las unidades en el video pasado y ponerla en su lugar. Muy fácil, no está mal. <risa> no, no está tan mal. Sorry about that guys, got a little confused on my two edits there. Just started a new channel, Finnish Carpentry TV, Español. So if you want to see this in Spanish, click that link. I don't know, maybe some of you do, but if you want to see it in English, hey, and then just stick around. But I will say this, the English to Spanish translation is dead on and the dubbing too. It's like I speak Spanish, like watching that video. So I kind of feel like I know Spanish now, but I don't, or I would have dubbed it myself. But anyways, let's get into this. Today we're going to be talking about wainscot cap transitions. If you remember several videos ago, we did a wainscot install. But this was one of the key elements to really making that, that install just elevate the detail of it. We'll go look at it on our Makita window over here. But this is a three quarter inch Windsor one, one by four. So when this comes up, it just hugs around that nicely. And you can see that detail, especially with the two color differences and just what, what a good transition that makes. If you were to just have this die straight into it, it would look something like this. So you've got this big overhang there. You could back cut this, but it's definitely not not the cleaner look. It's a hard transition and it just screams for attention in the worst possible ways. So we want to bring attention to it in the best possible way. So in this video I want to show you how I accomplished this and how we finished all those wainscot cap ends on that install. So let's get right into this. Let's say I need to make that return cut on the left side of this molding here. So what I need to do is make a 45 degree cut coming this way. But I can't make that cut all the way through this piece of molding because remember on the back side of this it has that three quarter inch offset because it's a cap. So that needs to stop at three quarters and then come straight. So what I like to do, I like to take a piece of true three quarter inch material and then I'll just lay these two down on a flat surface and then I'll make a mark. Once I have that mark made, now I know exactly where my 45 needs to stop. So let's go ahead and take this to the miter saw and we could bevel the saw over to the right and we can make that cut stop right at that line that we indicated with our block. We'll bevel over to the right hand side at 45 degrees, lock the saw in, and then one other tip, you could keep that block. And this is a piece of one by four casing and this actually works perfect for two things. It's gonna cradle this molding like that so it'll keep it stabilized while you're making your cut versus if you didn't have that, you know, there's some room for error there, this can wobble around. So this stabilizes it. And the second thing this block is gonna do, it's gonna get the molding away from the fence of the saw and closer towards you. And what that does in turn is it gets you in this better cut capacity of the miter saw out here in this mid range. Now what I need to do is I need to bring that blade right to that indication mark, that three quarter inch offset that we talked about earlier. I need to stop it before it passes that. So you can see I stopped that cut right at that line with that side of the blade. It actually needs to be this side of the blade. So the full cut of this right here needs to go down to that line right there. So I need to take that cut a little bit further. Now what I need to do is take from that point straight down and then we'll get all of this right here cut out of the way. And just to be clear on what I was saying earlier about this pushing this off the fence, you can see when I make this cut, I'll get this piece out of the way. But I've got full blade capacity right here in the center versus back here, like if I pull this out of the way with my block, I don't, I don't have that full capacity. So you wanna be kind of in the center of the blade more so. So now we'll take our saw back to zero. And then for this one, all we have to do, like I mentioned, is make that cut come straight down. 
And this is really where an LED on your saw really makes a lot of sense because you can see exactly where that cut is going to be made. So you can line up that blade shadow right on that edge and then go ahead and send it. So after making that cut, here's what we're left with. You can see my marks are obviously not perfect to scale in 45 and everything like that, but we have taken out the portion of molding that we need to take out. We've got our 45 coming down straight, stopping at our three quarter inch offset, and then this piece just coming straight down. So to get this end cap right here, what we need to do is we need to cut the back edge of this molding off and basically turn this molding here into just this front profile. And to accomplish that, cutting this back portion off of this molding here, we're gonna use the table saw and just make a straight cut straight up there so that all we have left is this piece over here. So now with this piece ripped off, all we're left is with this profile of the molding here. We could take this over to the miter saw, stand it upright, and cut a simple return on it. And for the simple return, once that 45 is cut, you just make a straight cut right on the edge of that molding right there, right where that 45 ends. So after that cut, this is what we end up with. This is our simple 45 degree end cap return cut. And this will go right here on the end of that piece that we made earlier. And it fits like a glove. It's just a really really clean look and it's just the best way to do it. I'm going to go ahead and put some spring clamps on this just to hold it temporarily. So this right here is the same thing I showed you guys earlier and it just caps on just like that. And it just adds that layer of detail that just makes you look like you care. That's all people want. They just want you to care. Most people don't. So if you can just care, you're good, you're in. There you have it guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope you learned something. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below, but other than that, we will see you guys on the next one.